Hello Guardians, welcome back. F today is Friday, which means only one thing, Zer is here and Trials have started. So, as you can tell from today's video, we're going to be looking at what Zer is selling and where he is. And for once, I'm on my Titan in full Crucible gear, because I like the Crucible gear for the Titan. No other reason. Anyways, we are on Nessus. You want to be spawning in at the very north spawn point when it loads. I'll show you which one that is. So Watcher's Grave, you want to spawn at Watcher's Grave. And you just want to head towards his marker, and it's pretty obvious where he is. If you haven't ever been to him before on Nessus, he's basically up in a giant tree. Uh, so, you know, nothing too extravagant there. Uh, let's see if it lets me get up. Yes, it does. Boom. And he's over here, where these guys are firing and shooting at. Hello, sir. Oh, your tentacle face looking thing. Right, let's get into it. What's he selling? What's he got for us this week? So, we've got the weapon, the Prospector. Nothing special about that gun whatsoever in my eyes, but if you don't have it, pick it up for your collection, otherwise don't bother. Uh, Lucky Raspberry Chest Armor for the Hunter increases the chaining capabilities of Art Bolt Grenade and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage. Probably one of the better exotics for Arc Strider, but in my personal opinion, I always use Radiant Flux, but you know, if you want to switch things up and you don't have this, pick it up by all means. Then we have the an insurmountable Skull Fort for the Titan, which basically kills ah kills with Arc melee abilities, trigger health regeneration, and to restore melee energy. So if you just strike it and you do a lot of melee action, that could be a pretty damn good exotic helmet for you guys. Then we have the Ophidian Aspect Gauntlets for the Warlock. Weapons ready and reload very quickly, melee range is extended. Now of course, this is a very, very devastating exotic for Warlocks in my eyes because, well, melee range being extended just makes it ridiculous and the fact that it weapons you're ready and reloads them quickly, it it makes you very good in PvP is all I can say there. Maybe not so much in PvE, but PvP these are definitely worth picking up for. Right guys, let's see what I get from my Isochronical Engram, or Fated Engram. Here it is. Three, two, one, boom. We got Lion Rampant for my Titan, which if I'm honest, I don't think I've got. Provides additional aerial maneuverability. Hmm, I don't, so I'm quite happy that I got them for once, you yeah, know. But I normally don't do it on my Titan, so that's probably why. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful, and well, I wonder what Bungie's thinking of making changes to Zer with, if any at all, that is. So yeah, I'll catch you next week for when the Zer returns. See you then, Guardians. Bye.